Drew, I don't know where to begin at with all this content stuff. What would you suggest? Now, this may come to a surprise. I'm always going to say you should try to form a community before you launch a product or a service because the community will probably buy the product or service quicker than somebody who doesn't know you. So they're called warm leads. But honestly, I would say do a non-edited podcast. Like what do I mean by non-edited podcast? Meaning you get a mic or you don't have a mic, you get a phone or a camera, you record the video or you do audio. I'm always going to say do the video because you can use it in so many ways. So how would that look? How would that work, Drew? Let's say my business was, let's say I was going to be a massage therapist, right? What I want to do is I want to create this podcast, but I don't want to create the podcast where it's going to be boring talking about how I do massages all day. Nope. I would pick a, a, a niche. I would pick maybe a massage with self-care. This way you can have a lot of different topics you can talk about that all relate to each other. I would also think about getting guests who are either a big name if you can get them on for free, or I would honestly say, think about getting people who are smaller companies that need promotion. Cool thing with this is you get to build some good relationships. And the better thing with this is you get more episodes on your podcast. Now, how does this look, Drew? If I was doing this, if I was a massage therapist, I would start this podcast and I would post this uh, podcast, not edit it, which means I don't have to worry about editing. I can just record it and then upload it to my, my podcast host, which we'll talk about. I would do it three times a week and it'd be only like five minutes. Each time be five minutes. Now, Justin Suo, probably one of my favorite podcasters, he's at, I think, almost 2,000 episodes, and his episodes are about like three minutes long, but they're really, really good. But I would do five minutes if you want to go longer, cool. The reason why I would do five minutes three times a week is I would record once for 15 minutes. Let's say on Mondays, I record it once for 15 minutes. Then I would just literally cut those clips up, one on Monday, part on Wednesday, part on Friday. What I'm doing is I'm giving listeners something to have to listen to weekly, and I'm giving the clients that will be coming or my community something to uh, have to be fed weekly. Now, if you want to go a little step further, you could do this. Instead of recording just one episode on Monday, you can record two. And then you have uh, content for that first week and then the second week. So you don't have to record every week. Now, what do I do with this, these podcast episodes or stuff like that? What you can do is there's tons of ways you can do it now that AI has uh, come up with where I want to now cut those little five minute clips up to maybe minutes, like a minute. And now I can post that to Facebook. I can post it to Instagram. I can post it to TikTok. I can post it to LinkedIn. I can even put it in my email, of course, YouTube. Now I'm just using that time of me feeding my community to be able to feed other people as well. The great thing with this is you're, it's a low barrier of entry for you. It's low stress. All you're doing is talking about uh, your topic or interview on someone talking about the topic as well it's overlooked because it's not sexy but it actually works because now you're not sitting there every day uh, thinking about what do i need to post for content you can post those clips on the same days right and there's there's uh schedulers and things like that where you can upload your clip and it'll post to facebook instagram youtube all that stuff for you all at once and the click of a button. I would suggest this route rather than trying to think about creating something every day, because usually when that happens, perfectionism sets in or you procrastination sets in or you literally just forget. And the goal of having this content is first to feed your community, uh, position yourself as an authority, an authoritative role, and then to be able to give people something to actually listen to and look at more than once. 
usually when people first hear about you the first thing they do is either go to like your your social media handles or they go to your website to see who you are um, what are you doing how they can work with you they're filling you out uh, daniel Priestley is one that talks about uh, people needing to see you in different spaces uh, at least i think he says seven times or 11 times before they actually want to work with you and this is a perfect way to do it so lastly gonna just give you a simple simple way to start that get a mic all right you don't have to have an expensive mic but your audio if it sounds good people are going to listen to it if you have a great message and it doesn't sound well in their ears they're probably going to turn it off so get a mic if you want you can hit me up i'll give you my product list of mics that i've used right now i use the sure mic which i love i actually travel with this mic too so i can do it a podcast anywhere i'm at like i'm doing right now because i'm not at home i'm somewhere else get a mic a cord that goes to your phone i'm using my phone right now or your camera and go for it second thing is you want to actually think about creating the place where the podcast is going to be hosted which is called a podcast host right what i i use um a spotify it was formerly known anchor and now it's known as spotify it's super simple you can record right in that platform or you can record it on your phone anywhere you're at and you can just go ahead and upload it and then you can schedule them out does it take work it takes a little bit of work but you want your business to grow but you also want the community to grow as well and with that being said, I think this is the best route to go about doing it. Sure, you can hire a content team to do all the work for you. That's going to be a more expensive. That does have its, its pros and cons. But I believe just starting a podcast could be a huge benefit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually post this. No edits. I'm going to just post it just as it is. If you want to get into editing, cool. That gets a little tricky and that's going to take more time. But trust me, even just starting off with no edits, the audience will love it. And you'll start to feel uh, you'll start to feel more authority in your position. And you'll also be like a hometown hero. So take that advice. Get unstuck and go be great.